Responding to dangerous accidents is just part of the job for Baltimore firefighters. But when they receive a call about a collision between a truck and a freight train loaded with explosive chemicals, they know they're walking into an engineering disaster. Driving towards the scene about 10 miles away, I could see a large plume of smoke. The smoke was very dark, indicating that we had some kind of what we call hydrocarbon material burning. And that was when I first became concerned because we can't just jump into this as we would any normal fire. If we put water on this, it becomes water reactive. Are we gonna create a more hazardous material that people are now gonna be inhaling? If we do nothing, what happens when they inhale it? We wanted to assure that we were making a positive identification. After taming the fire using special foam and water, the blaze is finally under control. This incident was active for probably about eight or nine hours. At the conclusion of our active response role, we actually had put out the fire in the rail cars. We had positively identified all the materials, and we only transported two people to the hospital. This was not an average response for us. If that store is on fire across the street, we have a fire, period. If we have an auto accident at this intersection, we have an accident, period. But this was everything combined. Putting it all in perspective, uh, we had a pretty positive outcome.